Welcome back to the List Page Configuration Series, I'm Tuzik. In today's episode of List Page Properties, we will learn how to configure our table using Table Design Properties. Table Design has 9 properties, we will start with the Table Border Style, this property allows us to draw horizontal and vertical lines on a table. Let's have a look at the Table Design Default Setup. By default, Table Stripped is set to True, I'm going to disable it. Now have a plain table, let's start with the first property explained earlier, Table Border Style. Click on the Table Border Style field, select Horizontal, click Publish and then Preview on the browser. We can see a horizontal border drawn across each row of the table. Let's set the Table Border Style to both horizontal and vertical lines. Click the Table Border Style field, select both. Publish and Preview. As we can see both horizontal and vertical lines across each cell of the table. The next property is Table Striped. This property aids the readability of a table, especially when we have a large number of records. Click Table Striped field, then select True. Let's see the effect. Publish the project and then preview it on the browser. Here we have Table Rows Striped evenly. The next property is Table Dark property. By default, this property is set to false, to enable it, click on the table dark field, select true. Click publish button on top, preview on the browser to see changes. The next property is the table compact property. This shrinks the size of each cell, hence allows more records to show on a given media device. By default, this property is set to true. To disable it, click the table compact field, select false. Let's publish and preview. The next property is table header background. Click on the table header background field, as we can see, we have several background options, select any background color of your choice, I'm going to select BG Primary. Click Publish and then Preview in the browser, let's see how the table header background will look like. That's nice. You can change that if you like. Next is the table header text color. Click on the table header text color field, as we can see, we have several text color options, select any text color of your choice. I'm going to select text white, now publish and preview. The next property is table hoverable property. This property is set to false on default. To change it, click on the table hoverable field and select true. That's it, published and preview in the browser to see changes. Now when we hover on a table row, the row is striped as an indicator. That's cool. The next property is Table Responsive, by default, this property is set to True. It makes the table to be accessible and resizable on a small device, let's take a look. Let's disable it, click on the Table Responsive field, select False. To see changes, publish the project and then preview it on the browser. Now the table isn't responding to media width. The next and last property of table design is table cell alignment. By default, cell alignment is set to left. To change it, click on the table cell alignment field, select any alignment option of your choice. That's cool, now we have learned how to configure table design. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not, and turn on the bell notification, to get notified of our next video tutorial. Don't forget to like and comment in the comment section below, 
Thank you.